hey guys welcome back so guys in this video now we are going to set the uh, section 3 which is for the background images okay so guys now we have completed this section 1 and section 2 as a services now section 3 will be like with the background image with the parallax effect okay so you can set that parallax um, and the design will be like something like this okay so this is the design guys so design card one two three four so we will not be doing with this four we will do with the three three things okay so one two and three we will do and we will design the same thing and with the same parallax image okay so guys now let's get started let me minimize this and let's get back to our coding so guys as simple we are back to our vs code and after services this four cards villas last villa and then we will set a section one more so guys um, we can set the section from the previous code itself so which is like let me minimize this so these are the section things okay so container row bg everything will be the same so you can just call the th same things okay so section section where i'm giving a class section let's use a bootstrap class called container row and then the column md12 okay column md12 and now we will design this inside this we will give a h2 tag with the section title okay so section title will be given over here and this section title is, title is already called in css files so we have done with that so it which it look like something like this okay so now we will tell that how it works okay so let us type how it works okay so this how will be in red color so what i'm going to do is that i'll put this how in span okay how and i will give this class as text red okay done so now we'll give one underline so underline save and let us tell a paragraph so i can use the same content as paragraph i mean the subtitle let's call the class called subtitles which we have already used in the above so let us use that subtitle done save it and let's execute so Control r reload the page it has come over here so i just want all this in to be center so for the underline to be center you have to give margin right auto margin left auto so that the division tag will be get in center and all the text you want you can just give in the column itself text center text center it will come in center and i just want margin bottom 3 rem so that spacing will be there okay spacing yes spacing is fine now so guys let us now set the background image on this okay behind this so let us tell background for how it works okay so let us copy this and come to css copy and paste okay so first step what we are going to do background image okay so background image let's call the url so what is the url so you are inside the css folder okay so inside css folder so first we have to come out of the css folder so let's come out with the two dots and now what we have to do we have to go inside the image folder so images slash what is that image bg.jpg i have already created one image okay bg.jpg if you want to see the image you can download from anywhere i have already this use this image over here to set as background 
so guys now image is set and we want this image size to be full size okay so control r so this is the image right now it is not set something it will be overlapping it so we have to set the background size okay cover you can give directly now we will set the background position okay so background position that is center center okay center center and now you can use for no repeating the image if your image is small it will repeat right so you can use no repeat background repeat no repeat and let us set the position as relative okay so position relative will be there so after this if you need a parallax effect on this you can use that parallax effect which means see if you are moving the image is also getting shaked okay see here the image is also getting shaked with that background itself so i just want to keep that as still so let us add background attachment fix it that's it okay so control r and now if you shake the image see here the image is at the same place you can see the section only moving okay images the stuck over there that's it and let us make this into white not black and the paragraph also white which is not visible so guys you can use the bootstrap classes so let's go to our index file and uh, you can use over here as text white so copy this and you can use this set the paragraph to i mean subtitle so text white it's coming fine okay done section title it is fine or what yes okay so this it is set now and now let us design this card okay simple cards we'll just give a heading we don't need to design that much in deeper way so this is my row guys and let me close this row and let's create one simple new row so i'm going to create three cards so i will use we have to divide that 12 into three places that will be md4 okay so 444 it will set into three pieces so guys you can copy the card from the getbootstrap.com okay search for the cards like card and click on the card you will get card like this drag and drop copy and paste that's it so i don't need image so let me view the output for you i'm just going to remove this style tag right back reload see here so this is the view now so guys i just want don't want the image and this button so let's remove this image and mention this as meet customer meet customer some paragraph and remove this control x okay as simple unclear this is my column so i'm going to setting with the margin top 3 pixel i mean 3 rem so i just want it to be down so it's now fine and let's use this underline over here also okay so let us set the underline underline and let's give some margin bottom matlab margin below underline we need some space margin bottom 3 rem so you can use this so just let's make it in center i mean 3 also copy paste paste three times okay 4 4 4 okay so it will come 3 
meet customer customer understand their needs uh, execution okay so meet customer is done understand the needs execution that's it simple load that's it guys how it's work so now you can see the parallax effect behind this background and designing also is too cute and simple this is fine for this and guys um now we have completed this so guys now let us check with once again and i just want this paragraph to be little small so you can set that card text the font size will be small so you can copy that and call the class tell font size as 16 pixel okay 16 pixel control r it is same size let us inspect and make little lesser okay so card text so the custom card text is over here 16 you can set to 15 okay so 15 is fine so let us close this go back card text set to 15 done okay it's looking nice now so guys in this video that's it and we have completed that how to set the background image into the section with the parallax effect okay and uh, the cards designing too so guys in next video we will be learning about how to make a client testimonial using owl carousel okay so we will be using owl carousel to design this right so guys um thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share so before that please follow my insta page that is fund of web it so the link is given into the description please follow me